Hey Playa, are you a middle schooler trying to figure out what you should do and where you should go on your first date? Well, that's exactly what Questionist asked me when they said, can you please do a video on where middle schoolers can go on a first date? Don't worry Questionist, I have a few different ideas as to what you can do so you don't end up having a lame first date. So I'll share them with you right after this. This is the Just Beats, you're watching the Just Beef. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh, and every single Monday through Friday, I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. Now, when you're in middle school, trying to figure out what you can do on a first date can be kind of tough because your options are limited. You don't have the means to travel wherever you want, and you don't have the money to help support you in doing that. So you're kind of limited to what your parents actually allow you to do. Now, does that mean you can't have a great first date or great dates in general? Absolutely not. Just because your parents may set a few restrictions that you have to follow doesn't mean you can't have an awesome time. As kind of like a precursor to your first date, there's a few things you want to set in order before you actually approach your crush or your girlfriend or boyfriend and ask them out. First, you want to make sure your parents are on board. They know that you have a crush and they're willing to assist you in any way that they can as long as you follow their guidelines. And second, you want to make sure your crush's parents are on board. The last thing you want to do is kind of hype up this huge awesome date that the two of you are going to share together only to find out that their parents parents don't allow them to date. Once everyone is in the know, it's time to start planning what the two of you can actually do together. And there's a few different places and things that you can do that can actually make that first date memorable. The easiest one to ask them to is to go to the movies. The reason why the movies works as such a good date is that chances are one of your parents is going to drop you off there with your crush. When you're at the movies, you may feel awkward or nervous around them, but you have the movie to talk about. Plus, you get that kind of alone time together until your parents come pick you up after after the movie. Another option might be to ask them to go to your next school dance with you. School dances are a great way to really bond with someone. You're dressed up, you both look sharp, you can let loose and have fun and dance and talk, plus you have that one-on-one -on -one time together without parents kind of sticking their noses in and getting involved. A third option that your parents might feel comfortable with is you asking to bring your crush over to your house. Now chances are your parents aren't going to let you sit alone together in your room, but the fact that they can kind of be in your environment might make you feel a little bit less nervous and a little bit more open to share the things around you that are your hobbies and your interests and to just kind of feel in your zone to talk to them. And the list goes on and on. You can ask them to go out and get pizza with you or ice cream or to just hang out in the park or to go for a walk together after school. Whatever you choose to do, however you want to spend that first date, simply run it by your parents and see if your parents are on board with it. In most cases, parents will offer you alternatives and different ideas as to how you can make that date work that fits within their own rules. For some of you, you might have parents that won't actually let you go out and do things, so you're limited in your scope as to what you can actually do with that crush. In those cases, you might have to get a little bit more creative when it comes to going on an actual date with your crush. So one thing you may want to try doing is asking them to hang out one-on-one -on -one during lunch. Now I know, lunch is a very chaotic time, there's people all around, but if the two of you can kind of section off at the end of a table and just have one-on-one -on -one conversation, it can feel like a date even though it's not a proper date environment. Really the key to any date is to find one-on-one -on -one time that you and your crush can spend together. The whole purpose is really to get to know each other better. So if you can do it during lunch and that's your only option, then go for it. Another thing you may want to consider is that you might not actually have to be in person to have that date. Try having a video chat date with them. Turn it on on your phone, have them do the same, and just communicate that way. I know, it's not ideal, but when you're in middle school, you have limited options. So if you can go out and do things with your parents' permission, that's great. If you have to hang out during lunch together, that's okay too. And even if you have to resort to having video chats online when you're home, that's fine. Anything you can do to fulfill that desire you have to spend one-on-one -on -one time talking to that person, go for it. What do you think though? As a middle schooler, what's a possible first date that you could see yourself going on? What's something you want to go on but you know your parents won't let you? Leave it down in the comments below and we'll talk about it. Now if you're in a situation that you don't really want to post in the YouTube comments, you can always shoot me a DM over on Snapchat or Instagram, I do my best to answer as many messages as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and definitely check out the other videos over there on the side if you want to keep learning whether or not you should date in middle school and even how to go about it. I've made a lot of videos on that topic, so go check them out. On that note, guys, I'll catch you next time. As always, love and peace.